Hello everybody. Um, yep, yeah, two more games in the round of 16 that we're gonna talk about today. Watched highlights, two minutes highlights, highlights provided on YouTube by the AFC. But I also read up a little bit on it because I had the feeling that the highlights are not always telling the entire story. And um, yeah, if you only give two minute highlights, you basically can only show goals, and so I was actually happy to read up on it. Let's start with the first one, which was South Korea against uh, Bahrain. Um, you know, South Korea dominated more or less their own group, had a few scrappy wins, but then uh, convincing against China. Whereas Bahrain, um, despite having wonderful jerseys, had to work a whole lot harder to make it to the next round. Uh, and it was actually Bahrain who had the first chance, um, which was saved by the goalkeeper, but, and then it was kind of South Korea dominating the proceedings, but Bahrain being quite um, physically and dangerous on the counter-attack. And it was eventually Korea who broke through by Hwang hee Jan. Uh, it was a cross in that was intercepted by goal goalkeeper, but on the rebound Hwang hee Jan had no uh, problem making it. Um, 1-0 uh, game for South Korea. I know the player because he's uh, currently playing for Salzburg, so um, it immediately flashed on the Austrian news that yeah, Hwang Hee-chan has scored. Um, then Korea remained the dominant team, but you know, Bahrain kept being physical and had their chances. Uh, it was a big save by the goalkeeper in the 70th, and then um, in the 77th they actually get the equalizer after a nice attacking move that was saved on the line by a defender and then Al Romahi uh, slots it home uh, from short distance and there it's 1-1 and both teams had uh, one chance especially South Korea had a pretty good one but a uh, shot uh, curled wide and so it goes in extra time somewhat surprisingly uh, I might add, because, you know, South Korea were clear favorites against that one. And in the end, the favorites win. Uh, I think over time was a little bit more cautious, but then a uh, nice cross uh, came in and Kim jin Su really diving, nice diving header in the, just at the last action of the first half of uh, overtime. Slots it home and South Korea holds on to uh, get the 2-1 uh, victory as an experienced side with uh, many players in Europe or even uh, big Asian leagues um, that was to be expected and I would actually still expect South Korea to go very very far in this tournament. How far of course will depend on the opponent that they will meet which is um, was decided between Qatar and Iraq which in the highlights, and this was something I really needed to read up, the highlights showed only chances by Qatar uh, who had hit the bar after a header uh, by Hassan uh, in the third minute already. Um, and then I saw that uh, right before halftime, a um, uh, cross was deflected and hit the outside of the post. So there were two posts hit uh, by Qatar. And when you read about the game, this was probably accurate in terms of chances, but the game itself was very open, very end-to-end, -end, very frantic. Actually, one of the better games at this Asian Cup, for sure. And that's what I would have expected, because um, when I what I saw and read about Iraq, I had a feeling that this is a pretty darn good uh, team. And um, Qatar-Iraq was, for me, one of the more um, even matchups ahead of the uh, tie. And I joked today, yeah, this is one of those where I think both are pretty much level, maybe slightly favored by Qatar, but in the end they will uh, run, uh, end up as 4 nil winners. Well, uh, not quite. They still had uh, other chances where they actually, um, I think Amos Ali uh, once ran alone on goal, but uh, couldn't uh, take good control. Uh, and then it was a free kick uh, by Al Rabi really nicely taken over the wall. I mean, yes, the wall probably has to jump higher, but uh, it really, the curve of, of the ball was really, really uh, well and gets the lead for Qatar. And then when you read on it, uh, this actually shocked Iraq uh, for at least, so this was already six, 60 seconds, so for about 20 or 20 minutes, there was shock and Qatar was managing the game, um, but couldn't just pull it away. 
uh, but in the end, uh, the final attack came from uh, Iraq, but not not nothing really of note. And Qatar holds on to a, a one nil win. That sees them now play against South Korea. Um, I think that Qatar is a team that we have to that is to be reckoned with, uh, given that they will be World Cup hosts in almost four years. Uh, yeah. They surely want to build something. And we have now interesting set of uh, quarterfinals. We have China against Iran. Um, I would favor Iran, but you know, you never know uh, what Marcello Lippi will uh, pull out. But I think Iran is by far the superior side. Vietnam Japan is an all East Asian uh, duel. Um, Japan should be the clear favorite in that one. So, I mean, Iran against Japan, or even China against Japan, that's going to be a nice uh, semi-final. And it doesn't get worse. I think the best matchup probably South Korea against Qatar, uh, the two teams that played today um, for a slot in the semis. I still would favor South Korea with all the experience they have, but you know, Qatar has been showing that they're a strong team. And then the final was is the United Arab Emirates against Australia. Uh, yes, the UAE are the hosts. I have a feeling that this will be Australia's, but you know, I have been wrong before, so uh, that's for me is maybe a little bit of coin flip, but I, I said yesterday I really like Australia's chances in that one. Also note, we have three uh, teams from West Asia. We have Iran, Qatar and the United Arab Emirates. Um, we have four teams from East Asia. Uh, we have China, we have Vietnam, we have Japan, we have South Korea, and then we have Australia, which is also East. I don't know what, you know. Uh, Central Asian teams are not present anymore, so um, it goes a little. It go, goes quite well for um, East Asian teams, these Asian Cups so far, and I'll be curious to see how this will continue. Well. Let me know what you thought about the games today, if you watched them, if you read any results, uh, whether you can enlighten me a little bit more about these games. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.